Come on, man. Hey, everybody. So we are in Ocala today. We're checking out three communities on top of the world, Stone Creek and Oak Run. We're going to compare them. We're going to meet up with Kaylin and Robin on the Explore team. And then at the end of the video, we're going to try to give you guys some insight on maybe why you would pick one of these communities over the other if you're looking for a retirement community in Ocala. Looking sharp. All right, so we're starting in on top of the world. Um, I think the goal of this video is to really try to help people, if they're coming and looking, decide between these three communities, maybe what you would like, what you wouldn't like in each of the communities. You find a lot of people that are really into golf choosing on top of the world over Stone Creek or Oak Run. Correct, because they have three courses here. So one of their courses here is semi-private, so you can okay. come in as a public person. The other two are private only. So people who want to golf a lot prefer having three courses over just one. We've got the um, remote control planes and cars and even a drone track now. So if you're a drone flying, golf playing, son of a gun on top of the world, <laughs> might be the top of the the airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, is if you have people who want to stay under 200,000, you don't have a lot of options even in Oak Run, uh, but you have a lot of options in here. With the villas. With the villas. Mm. And a lot of the snowbirds like the villas because they're attached and you get close to your neighbors, your neighbor keeps an eye on your house because they live next door. Or if they want to test it out, you know, we want to test out being snowbirds so we don't want to buy a half a million dollar home. Um, you know, they can come here and get a decent place. There's no condos whatsoever, or there's very, very few condos whatsoever in Central Florida. So Correct. the villas is kind of condo lifestyle. You just don't have the elevators right. and stuff. So. Exactly, good point. All right, so we, we t mentioned a lot of cool stuff about on top of the world, things that would maybe be attractors. Obviously, it's a bigger community, which also provokes this sort of different lifestyle, yes. something to consider when you're looking. Mm -hmm. um, I know this is always hard to do, but what are the what are the bad things? Like, why wouldn't I want to move here? I think because it is so large and there's so many communities, sometimes the communities that are the neighborhoods kind of become close-knit and they maybe don't get out and meet some of the other folks, mm -hmm. unless you're in pickleball or golf or something. I think that that would be maybe a bad thing. That comes with the territory of a larger community. Right. So if you're looking at larger communities, that sort of starts to happen. Right. It does. Um, and I think you're, you're in a good position too to talk about it because you lived here right. and then moved to Stone Creek. So why did you, why did you end up moving? Well, the main thing for me was we came from Missouri, we had a lake place, we lived on the water in Alabama, and we wanted to have a water view. On top of the world, all of their retention areas are just dry retention, so they have sand, they have grass, there's no water features here, and we were able to go to Stone Creek and get water features. So there's a lot of retention areas that they have filled in, lined them, and then they've put fountains and they've got fish so you can even fish out of them if you want so it's just aesthetically pretty and we were able to get a lot that backed up to one of those i have a lot of people that actually reach out and they say hey i'm thinking about on top of the world but i really want to fish yeah it's like you're gonna have to go out of the community somewhere and on top of the world if you're in the poker group and you don't like the people you can always join a different poker group because there's tons of them mm. versus the smaller communities there might be only three or four and you know, you're stuck with those people. Um, the other thing I like about On Top of the World is they're, um, they have two putt-putt courses. So people like me who can't play golf, we could go play putt-putt on date night yeah. or if the grandkids visit. And On Top of the World, another negative is it's a little more expensive to live here than it is the other community. In terms of like monthly fees or? Yes. yeah, mm -hmm. the HOA fees are, are higher here. Hmm. So you can get a cheaper home with the villas. Right but you're paying more monthly you're for paying more monthly. This community is a little bit confusing too because you have some uh, lot leases, right? Right, uh, lease land lease, lease, yeah. Land lease, so it's just, it's one of these communities that you, you gotta come check out and then depending on where you're at, there's gonna be some nuances and you guys will explain that. Why would I move to Ocala and then why would I not? 
Ocala has a lot to offer, and as far as financially, you really get the biggest bang for your dollar right now in Ocala. Um, you're about an hour and 15 minutes to either side of the coast, so you've got the west coast and the east coast um, if you want to be near the salt water. The, um, the other thing is they have the World Equestrian Center, which isn't just about horses. They have ginormous expo centers, I mean, big enough to put an airplane in. Um, so they're going to have all kinds of exhibitions there, not just horse. Uh, yeah, they recently have had two big dog shows there. Yeah, two dog shows. American Kennel Club dog shows. Right. Some people do find that it's too rural. They don't, you know, you don't have access. I showed a buyer the other day. Um, they don't have access to, you know, like shows. You'd have to go to Orlando. Yeah. Um, and so Ocala is, is a little bit more rural as far as that type of arts. For a specific example, you know, we have some some folks that want to be close to the Performing Arts Center or sports or they want to be close to the airport because they travel a lot. Right. Specifically, okay. someone reached out and said they, they are ballroom dancers. And I thought, oh, you know, most of the communities have ballroom. And they're like, no, we're, we're actually like, extremely competitive. And we found some places in Orlando that we'd be going to. There's people that reach out and they're like, I want to have some hustle bustle busyness. Mm -hmm. And Ocala doesn't really provide that. It has it things doesn't. to do, but it doesn't have like that. You can't drive 30 minutes to a big city-ish feeling kind of thing. You can get 40 minutes to Gainesville and you can get 45 minutes to the villages. So if you yeah. want that, it's not that far of a drive. And actually their whole downtown has been becoming more gentrified. They've been doing yeah. a lot of updating, some fabulous new restaurants, renovations of restaurants. So there's a lot more. And I've really just seen that in the last year and a half. The insurance in Ocala is going to be a lot less expensive. You yeah. don't have to carry the wind insurance. Um, you don't have to carry the flood insurance. Yeah. The elevation here is like 200 feet above sea level. So um, insurance wise, it's going to save you at least 5,000 a year. I've had people reach out and they'd say, I don't want to be anywhere north of Tampa because it gets too cold in the winter. I didn't move to Florida mm -hmm. for winters to be cold. And right. then it, it does get chilly up here sometimes. And this person was uh, specifically a snowbird. You know, he's like, I, I come down in the winters. I don't want to come down and have to deal with any cold weather. All right, we're going under the tunnel, guys. Hey, before we go to the last community, if you want to get connected with someone on our team that specializes in 55 plus communities, they can help you in Ocala or anywhere in Florida. If you're looking for a retirement community, visit Explore 55 Plus. Dot com. Dot com. I just checked out on top of the world. Here's maybe why you would like Stone Creek. What would that be? I would say if you are looking for something that is, is aesthetically pleasing, this is. I mean, on top of the world has the, the amenities and the size, but this, this community is like so much prettier. And we talked earlier about the differences with. Um, on top of the world being so large. Mm -hmm. And here, we're kind of more of a middle-sized community, mm -hmm. even though we're still growing. And they make a real effort for everything to be community-oriented. When I bring people here, I'm like, did you kind of feel like if you lived here, you'd be on vacation all the time? You definitely do, especially at the resort pool. Can you get drinks by the pool? You No, yeah. it doesn't have a tiki bar mm -hmm. by the pool. You can bring a cooler. No glass. No glass. That, that's it, no though. Glass. But you can yeah. feel free to bring whatever you want. Otherwise, right. yeah. But this is a very, very active. <laughs> <laughs> so if I if I'm a softball player, would I gravitate towards Stone Creek? Mm. Opposed to on top of the world. You know what? No, they all they both have. They both okay. have it. The middle building right now is their only activity center until they complete the other one. Um, but I was just here two days ago. And I mean, it was like they had tables down the middle of the aisles. Every room was filled. I mean, it was just busy, busy, busy. And I mean, their clubs are super active. Not to say that on top of the world isn't, but for being a smaller community, I'm surprised at how busy they are. I know it's kind of hard to do, but if you could sum up in like as short as possible, just why I would choose this community over on top of the world or Oak Run, what would it be? It's really personal preference, I think. Um, I've got a couple um, that, you know, we just closed on their house on the 20th and they're from New Jersey and they want it on top of the world because of the, the more diversity. There's more mm -hmm. people there. So they were looking for specific clubs, you know, related to them. And so that was a better choice for them. 
But then, you know, I've got other people buying in here. Oh, yeah. This is a better choice for them. I just it's had some really, books. you gotta visit. It goes yeah. back to what you said, you gotta visit to know. Okay, what, why would I choose on top of the world over this then? What Or Oak Run? Price point, size of community. Price point for Oak Run. Yeah, price point for Oak Run. I mean, there's 3,500 homes there. The thing I like about Oak Run, as opposed to these other communities, I mean, this has a resort feel, it's beautiful. Oak Run is more of a, it's an older community, it is. but they've updated the amenities and the pools, but you can get a lot more house in Oak Run. So if you're wanting a bigger home, bigger garage. Larger lots. Larger lots. Much larger lots. Yep. A lot of people like to have more space between yeah. their homes, right. and you can get that in Oak Run. Definitely get that in Oak Run. So, I mean, you really got to check out all three because it's just, what are you looking for? And what's your price range? Yeah. Well, you have three very cool options that are right next to each other in Ocala. But very different. Yes. So you got to, like, if you're coming up to check them out, there's no reason not to check out all three. Exactly. That's also the reason going and reaching out to our team or an agent, if you have someone you know, they can help you that is unbiased and works in all of these communities is, is good, opposed to a sales rep that has an agenda to sell you on their community and steer you away from the others. Because you never really know until you go and check them out. You don't. That's true. Don't. And I think another thing maybe to note is that both On Top of the World and Stone Creek still are building. Mm -hmm. On Top of the World is building right. out indefinitely. Stone Creek, once this land is filled, it's done. They expect it to be done within four to five years. Okay, and so Oak, you got some time. Yeah, and Oak Run, it is totally completed. It's totally built. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good to know. Well, what would your mom say? About what? Regarding different communities, different HOAs, different styles. Different strokes or different folks. Different half for every head. Different go. seat for every head. All right, if you want to get connected with one of the agents on our team, visit explore55plus.com. We have agents that specialize in the 55 plus communities. And I mean, I think that's just about it, huh? Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. <laughs>